Wendy, the first star. Why don't you make a wish? Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Red dancing shoes. I'll make a wish too. I wish your, your wish, wish comes true. true. <laughs> <laughs> now, how can I get Wendy her wish? Country cobbler. Shoes, boots, slippers. That's it. Hmm, but what'll I do for money? <laughs> Those shrieks are all too familiar. <laughs> must help that poor cobbler. Hmm. That shoe gives me an idea. <laughs> Who's at the door? Yikes! The, the, the place is bewitched! The shoe has come to help his master! Mr. Cobbler, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. The friendly ghost? I'm sorry you were frightened. How can I ever repay you for this big favor? You just name it. I'd like to get a pair of red dancing shoes for a good little girl. You got them. And all the witch leave a pair to be fixed. She no return, so I give them to you. Eh, here they are. Golly, they're beautiful. But I hope one thing, that they not be bewitched. That's strange. There's no one here. Gosh, they left a box. And it's for me. Golly, my wish came true. The good fairy must have heard me. I'll try them on and try a few steps. Oh, I, I want to stop, but I can't control my feet. Uh-oh, they are bewitched. I'll have to get them off her feet. Don't worry, Wendy, I'll... Oops! What a terrible thing I've done to Wendy. So you see, Mr. Cobbler, I must find the witch who left those shoes. Her name was a witch Weevil. Where can I find her? You go see the broom maker up the road. He might help. Benny the broom maker. I'll be with you after one more trial run. Golly, he's a broom test pilot, too. A perfect landing. <laughs> See, that old witch weevil won't recognize her old broom when she returns for it. That's witch weevil's broom? Uh, yep. I must see her. If you see her, would you do me a favor? Give her this. But where does she live? In the dismal swamp. But please be careful. They say it's haunted. Gosh. Dismal swamp. Keep out. Witch Weevil, landlady. I may as well use her broom. Who knows how long I'll be on this search. Out all the insults. A ghost riding a broom. <laughs> oh, I'll fix him. Hipsy dipsy, doodly showers. Now you have no ghostly powers. <laughs> what happened? That's only a sample of what happens to anyone who trespasses on Witch Weevil's property. Witch Weevil, remember those dancing shoes you left at the country cobbler's? Dancing shoes? Why, yes, what about them? Well, the cobbler let me have them and... What? My property given to a ghost? And I gave them to a good little witch girl. You gave them to a good little witch girl? Well, is she happy with my dancing shoes? No, she can't stop dancing. Please, Witch Weevil, stop the dancing shoes. <laughs> she shall go on dancing forever and ever. For making me sore, you shall ride the broom forevermore. <laughs> What's the matter, little ghost? Wh who are you? I'm the fairy who sweeps the stardust from the sky. Maybe you can help my little friend. You want to help your friend, but how about yourself? My problem doesn't matter. It all began with a wish on a star, so let the stars free you. The spell is broken. I'm free. Yippee! The shoes have stopped. Look, good fairy, the shoes have stopped dancing. 
Casper, your unselfish wish was the magic that broke the witch's spell. Look, Casper, I've learned to control my dancing shoes. Yeah, how about that? if he sees it. Discuss me pinching again, my lord. James? <laughs> James! Come in, my lord, come in. Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me, my lordship. You call me, lord? I'm waiting for my martini. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> Fails me, my lord. What are the ingredients of a martini? Three parts distilled gin. Yes, my lord. One part vermouth. Quite, my lord. Dash of bitters. As you say, my lord. And stir, but don't bruise the ice. Uh, olive or Onion, my lord. Hon uh, <clears throat> onion, by all means, young man. Your martini, my lord. And now, my lord, about me pension. <coughs> Wheat drink, James. It's all ice water. <laughs> Yes, James. Tonight, I propose to Lady Worthington. She has a mad passion for handlebar moustaches. The lovely Lady Worthington. My dear Lady Worthington. Oh, I adore your beautiful moustache, darling. <laughs> it's a gift from father, you know. A cigarette? Hate it. Champagne. Loathe it. Music. Love it. Jeems. Light the candelabra. I should stay away. Uh, but what can I do? Smashing what? I hear your name. And I'm a flame. <laughs> they say. A flame with such burning desire that only your kiss 
can put out the fire. Oh, your moustache! I could never marry you now, Irving. Without it, you look positively naked. My lord, now about me pension. Here. One, two, three. Now go, leave, retire. Is that all, my lord? Why, it's hardly enough to keep me in fish and chips. Here. Perhaps I'd better get back to me duty, sir. No, no! Anything but that! Here, take this! I would appreciate an extra shilling or two for an occasional bottle of stout. Will this do? And then there's me severance pie, vacation money, hospitalization, old age benefits. my pension. Oh, come now, Irving. Let's be original. Not being able to sleep is keeping me awake. If you can't get to sleep, just plug up your ears. With no noise to disturb you, you'll sleep well for years. That sounds logical. Your way to get any rest is to get a blackbird fresh from the nest. Eat him in pie, croquettes, or in stew, and you'll sleep like a top. Pleasant dreams to you. Hmm, a blackbird. That sounds logical. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. I was quite a call of the day. Good night, fellas. Good night, kitties. Good night, everyone. Eyes wide, I hit the hay. First, toast two pieces of bread. Butter the toast and add some spice. If you like croquettes, tasty and nice. This crow's wine will be a dead duck. Mm -mm. That man's got insomnia. That's all I has to know. Boss, boss, eating at this late hour is the worst thing you could do. It'll keep you awake all night. Awake? But I ain't slept for weeks. Just leave it to me, boss. 
the best way to get some sleep is to start right in counting sheep. That sounds logical. And I's going to be the little lammies. Ba One. Ba two. Ba three. Ba four. Ba sleep tight, boss. I didn't sleep a wing. That's a gross misunder-exaggeration, boss. Look, you were sawing wood so hard, you went right through the floor. Well, what do you know? Now, if you wants to get sleepy, you gotta relapse in a good hot bath. That sounds logical. Now, boss, ain't that cozy? Soon you'll feel dozy. Sleep tight, kitty. So long, stupid. I just want to leave you now. Uh-uh. This time I'm doing what the book says. But, but, boss, I can explain everything. launching of a new rocket. Now I want you fellas to get over there and get a picture of that takeoff and scoop all the other papers. Okay, Chief. Are you still here? Haste makes waste, I always say. Get going! Where's that elevator? Hey, wait for me! So long, Slowpoke. to cover the launching. Sorry, buddy, but photographers aren't allowed on this base. Photographer is not allowed on base, eh? Well, I'm getting in there and getting that picture. Well, there's more than one way to snap a picture. to 
find the launching pad. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Liquid fuel delivery. Okay, go ahead in. Uh-oh. I'd better get rid of this cigar. Get a snapshot without being detected. Oh boy, this'll make a perfect picture. Hey, who goes there? Saboteur, it's the firing squad for you. And hut, uh, hut, hut, two, three, four, hut, two, three, four, hut, two, three, four. You got any last words to say? I only regret that I have but one life to give to the nosy news. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Why, that's as old as yesterday's news. Er, uh, I got the scoop. Now I gotta tip the public enemy number one, Foxy Fagan, is gonna rob the bank. And the one that gets back without a picture is fired. Okay, Chief. <laughs> Always say haste makes waste. <laughs>